Hey guys, welcome back to another new video. Derek reacts back at it again, and yes, as we continue our reactions for Halloween week, this time I'll be reacting to Rockwell with Somebody's Watching Me, and I'm looking forward to this recommendation made by you guys. Um, taking it back to 1984, yes, and I'm looking forward to this official video. Before we get into the video, please take a moment, comment, like, and subscribe. I would love to hear your feedback. It makes videos like these all the more possible, and also take a moment to follow me and like me both on Instagram and on Facebook. And if you're new to the channel, guys, welcome. I also have a Patreon link down below. Be sure to check that out when you get a chance. Help support my channel makes recommendations like these like the one you're about to watch all the more possible all right guys without further ado let's go huh. oh Ooh. oh crap i like that Wow, this is stellar. This is stellar. Oh my god, those keyboard arrangements and synths. I love that. I love that. I was not expecting that. Oh my god. I was not expecting this. Um, <laughs> oh my god. Uh, so, so good to come in. By the way, I think that was an organ coming in, like a piano organ type of thing, coming in so giving it more um more of those eerie vibes more of the spookiness that come in comes from kind of like uh that halloween time you know uh and that scariness so i like it and look at this there's i think there's a crow coming in into this shot here but i love it i love 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 the synths coming in so far and they're sick they're sick guys forgot that this was 84. i'm just an average man oh. with an average life i work So spooky, so spooky, so spooky, and I like it. I like the the shots and how they're going. Like he's taking a shower. Oh my God, that's so cool. Um, look at the pink tile, guys. If that doesn't scream eighties, oof. Uh, so great, so great. By the way, guys, who is that singing? MJ, MJ, Michael Jackson. Um, his vocals, and I believe they're being layered with Jermaine, um, Jermaine Jackson to his brother. So I'm not entirely sure, but um, listening to this, you could almost mistakenly say that this is his song, right? <laughs> Because when the chorus comes, he's singing. Michael Jackson's singing. So it, it's very interesting how they, how they went about, about the approach, um, even though he's a guest vocalist on the song. Um, he is singing. He is singing, obviously. You know, Rockwell, but, you know. So cool. I like it. When I come home at night, I Love it, love it. So catchy, so catchy when MJ comes in. Uh, <laughs> oh my god, I love it. But when 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 Rockwell is singing, um, you hear you hear his his kind of his, his delivery. It's almost like is this gonna sound strange? But it almost seems like he's rapping too at the same time. But he's not. He really isn't. He's just he's just you know you know spewing out the lyrics and stuff like that. Um, so it's very interesting. Very very kind of like interesting eerie. Uh, a video too at the same time you see the blood you see the blood you see kind of like him standing out with the tombstones and everything like that so the whole approach to this was to give it obviously kind of like those dark vibes and everything like that but god that synth and that keyboard arrangement is completely on the money on the money um and that's what gives this song so much of that um that oomph and and and, and you and you just gravitate toward it it's just great it's great I'm gonna get a heart 
time. Oh. Oh. You hear that? So if you're getting more um, instrumentation, um, especially with this break now, because they're not singing, they're not singing. Um, you don't hear MJ, you don't hear Rockwell, you don't hear none of them. Um, more instrumentation break to create more of that build and that eerie kind of like climatic moment. We're already two, two minutes and 20 seconds in, um, and that's where the, com the keyboards and the synths are coming in at full force to carry the song through. And that organ, I believe, is coming in very, very nicely too with kind of like those church type of vibes. You know, like a, like a dark church chapel stuff. Oof, my God, this is so good. I don't know any more of the neighbors watching that? me. Well, it's the mailman watching me. And I don't feel safe anymore. Oh, what a mess. I wonder who's watching me now. So if you notice, um, and the song is almost coming to an end, but I want to get this out before I forget. You notice what's happening as he's going through these video, as he's going through his house. He always feels like somebody's watching him. He's either either he's hallucinating or he's like seeing things or these visions because he's seeing a lot of disturbing and a lot of crazy stuff um, right before his eyes. So it kind of it kind of goes goes well with the song and how he's singing and what the whole theme and lyrics are about if you if you understand them. Um, it's simplistic, it's not hard to. But you see the shower with the blood coming down. You see the woman kind of like dead under the bed. Bizarre, bizarre stuff. And he's he feels like he's being watched everywhere he goes. He sees something like looking at him, staring at him, or or even just seeing like random crazy things. So creating eerie vibes and. Yes, it's cheesy, but at the same time, um, it's enjoyable because, you know, you look forward to what, what else is coming and stuff, so. I always feel like somebody's watching me uh, and I have no privacy. Oh, oh, oh. I always feel like somebody's watching me Damn. who's playing tricks on me. I oh. always feel like somebody's watching me. He's ripped. Look how creepy he is. Even the mailman's creepy. So everything that is around, everything that he sees, he's being creeped out by it because it's like uh, he's just disturbed, completely disturbed by by everything that comes comes close to him. But he's still he's still in his towel. Oh my god, he had, he was he was barely barely clothed and stuff. He was ripped. This guy's ripped. Um, Rockwell, uh, very interesting, but. I got to tell you something, they did a, a great job, and I think m maybe MJ was responsible for this, but if you notice carefully, there isn't no bass in this song. There's no bass. So what they did was they took the synthesizer and they used that as the, as the bass. Um, the very clever thing that you hear throughout the whole, the whole song, and you know what I'm talking about. It's very prominent, very prominent. That's the one that stands out. Keyboard arrangements all about the song. That gives us so, so much great sounds. Um, and percussions. There were percussions there um, here and out. But great mixing, great recording. Um, mixing, by the way, is due, uh, due to courtesy to Rockwell and Curtis uh, Anthony Nolan. So there you go. There you have it, guys. I love it. I love all these feels. I love the, all the vibes. I love everything about this. This is going to get my Derek Reacts approved coming at you all the way. Yes, guys, you know how much I love those synths, guys. You know how much I love it. And when it's done correctly, you just get it. You get you get my approval. Um, not too bad in terms, in terms of vocal delivery by Rockwell himself. Um, by the way, is the son of Motown CEO Barry Gordy. Isn't that crazy? Um, and then at the time of the recording, Rockwell was estranged from his father and living with Ray Singleton, his father's ex-wife and mother of the old, older half-brother, Kerry Gordon, Gordy. Singleton served as executive producer on the project and would occasionally play some demo tracks to Barry. The elder Gordy was less than enthusiastic about Rockwell's music until he heard the single with a familiar voice featuring, guess who? MJ himself.
<laughs> um, MJ and Jermaine, God. And uh, it's hard to say that you wouldn't think that this is an MJ song because of his, his elite uh, star power status. That's the problem. Because when you hear MJ in any type of song, you're like, oh, that's the MJ song. You know, right away you say that, you, you go into it. But you have to understand that, you know, that that's not the case. That's not the case. It's just, you're just quick to, to say that. Um, especially after hearing it for the first time. Released by Motown in 1984. Um, it was the lead single by the studio album of the same name. Um, somebody watching me. Rockwell's uh, debut single release featured guest vocals by, we already said that, um, MJ and Jermaine. Um, so here, this is what Rockwell told Rolling Stone how the song came to him. I asked God to give it to me. The prayer was, God grant me this creativity to, to write a song that will go to the top of the charts and tickle the taste buds of the music connoisseur. Of the music connoisseur. Everything came to me so easily after that prayer. So he was in the zone, guys, after he was, you know, um, uh, praying and stuff like that. He was in the zone. He was in the zone. It just came to him. It just came to him. So there you go. Giving credit to the to the one up above. I like that. Um, was written by uh, 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 124 beats per minute. Vocals spanned from C4 to C C5. Produced by Curtis Anthony Nolan. And the song uh, the song had um, percussions by Alan Murray, and we heard those too. So all in all, great and stellar, guys. You saw this video, guys. A lot of stuff happening in this video. Very, very almost like a Twilight Zone uh, type of stuff going on, <laughs> um, with a lot of you know uh, movie references, especially with the shower scene, kind of like giving a nod to Psycho, um, and kind of having a lot of haunted house vibes and all those things, and um, very interestingly. And the video actually opens up with a newspaper in Chinese, which is de de delivered to him in his doorstep. Um, and that was interesting too. So I think that may have to do with uh, kind of like the dead zone or something like that. So who knows? Um, and then we see brief close up with like a zombie arm and a lot of bizarre little things, a dead body under the bed and everything like that. So you, a lot of different things. And this is, this video is, is used in a lot of Halloween type of parties and, and themes and, and, th and stuff like that. I'm, I mean, why not? It, it, it fits right in. It fits right in. So I'm glad I reacted to this. Um, so how did it do in the charts? Well, had major commercial, commercial success in, internationally, topping the charts in Belgium, France, Spain, top five in Canada, Germany, Netherlands, New Zealand, South Africa, Sweden, Switzerland, and in the U.S., guys. Peaking at number two in the Billboard Hot 100, both Jump by Van Halen and Footloose by Kenny uh, Loggins kept the song from being number one. Wow. Song reached number six in the U.S. and the United Kingdom. Uh, Rock was only top 40 hit there. So there you go, guys. Lyrics are very self-explanatory. Uh, you get the outros and the hook by Michael Jackson. Um, very, very catchy hook as well. And then you get the instrumentation break, which I completely love and was completely slayed. Synth, synth, synth. Very, very heavy, very heavy. Um, you can classify this song as a very kind of like poppy type of song. Very poppy type of song because of those synths and the way it was organized. Was not expecting that. Was not expecting that. Um, I was thinking kind of like more. I mean, it was 84. I don't know what I was thinking, to be honest. I don't know what I was thinking. I was probably going to think more kind of like disco. I don't know why, but nowhere, nowhere near that. Nowhere near that, guys. All right, guys. Until next time for more videos like these, and I'm hoping you're enjoying uh, Halloween reaction videos. If you want to see more videos like these, be sure to submit all your comments and suggestions below. I would love to hear what you have to say. Until next time for more videos, take care. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to see more videos like these, be sure to check this one out. And also take a moment to comment, like, and smash the subscribe button to stay on all the latest reaction videos. And guys, yes, I have a Patreon link down below. Be sure to check that out. Help support the channel. Makes your voice, your recommendations all the more possible. Take care, guys. Love you guys. Peace.